Hello everyone and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 from a flash drive to a computer. All right, first we have to download the media creation tool from Microsoft. I will leave a link in the description below. After the download is completed, we are going to run the downloaded file. All right, here you go. Please don't mix this up with installing Windows 10 to a flash drive. This video is all about installing Windows 10 media to a flash drive, so you can be able to install Windows 10 on another computer or upgrade your own computer instead of using a DVD or if you don't have a DVD drive on your computer now this process takes a minute so you have to be very patient with it um, i'm going to fast forward for the sake of editing of course and for the sake of not boring you guys so um, i'm going to fast forward from here okay so we're going to accept the terms and conditions over here and of course it's going to get a few things ready now guys you must know that all the, these processes need some patience and uh, I spoke about it in the videos before and I'm talking to people who are not used to doing this. These videos are for people who are not used to doing this. Yes, it takes a while. Yes, it takes a, a few moments and you have to be patient. Anyways guys, I'm going to uh, fast forward again. Alright guys, now it's asking us what do we want to do, of course we don't want to upgrade this uh, computer at the moment, um, we need to create uh, an installation media on a USB drive. I don't recommend upgrading, uh, if you ever want to upgrade, just do it this way, use a USB drive. I, I, a lot of clients reported that upgrading causes problems, sometimes it crashes in between, but now we're going to pick the second option and we are going to click on next, and that's what we are here to do. Of course the language uh, is all in English, or your preferred language, I'm clicking next. It's going to ask you what do you want to do with the media. Um, we're going to install it of course on a USB flash drive. ISO um, is if you want a hard copy of that media installation on your computer, so we're going to click next. This area is very critical, be careful um, if you have two flash drives on your computer, one for school and the empty one. Just rename the empty, uh, the empty one. I renamed my two flash drives so I can know which is which. And also, for the sake of this video, I want to know to show you. So just click it and click next. All right, now it's going to download Windows 10 Media onto your computer in a temporary folder, and then it's going to extract it to your flash drive. Guys, I'm going to um, speed up this video because it takes a minute. Uh, for me, this is going to take approximately 15 to 20 minutes to download and it depends on your internet. So, uh, I want to make sure that uh, you know that, that it's fine if it takes some time, it is okay. As you see, it's 5% now and I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to fast forward uh, this entire video so you can see what happens step by step. Alright guys, so it is almost ready, it's finishing up the creation of this flash drive, and here you go. Now assuming that you have installed the software on the flash drive, the first step is of course, the computer must be turned off. You insert the flash drive in the computer, and then you turn on the computer, and then we immediately press the boot menu button. You don't need to go to the setup menu, we will go directly to the boot menu so we can choose our flash drive. Now the boot menu looks like this. Now for Dell, the boot menu button is F12. So when you immediately turn on your computer and start pressing on F12 a few times, a menu should open up looking like this. Now in other computers, that button is different. Some 
it might be F10, some it might be F11. It depends on your manufacturer, but most of the time it is F12. After pressing F12, the boot menu opens up and asks me where do you want to boot from. So of course we want to boot from the USB flash drive that we installed Windows on. Alright, so we will choose that and my USB is SanDisk. So you see it says here UEFI boot SanDisk. Now, if your computer does not support UEFI, you will see it as legacy SanDisk or whatever name of your flash drive you actually have or installed the Windows on. So press enter, it's of course loading files. So after pressing the enter button, you must see this screen. Loading files and then the Windows 10 logo. All right, guys, now we arrived at this window. This is the Windows setup window. If the screen is flickering, I do apologize. That's because I am taking a live video of this. So please bear with me with the quality. All right, guys, so let's click next on this. Now we are going to click on install now. All right, guys, now if the installation process takes longer than usual, like if, for example, you arrive at this page and it took 10 minutes, just know that you might be having bad sectors on your hard drive, AKA your hard drive might be failing. Consider buying a new hard drive. Let's click on accept the license terms and click on next. And we're gonna click on custom install windows only. It says advanced here, do not use the first option, use the second option. So this is a freshly installed hard drive. It, it's saying that it's on a located space. That means this hard drive has never been used before. We will wait for it to calculate a little bit the process should take a few seconds. Um, if it takes any longer, just know that the hard drive is in bad shape. So now you are on the hard drive partition area. This area over here where you can partition the hard drive and start the installation of Windows. So let's say you wanted to have two hard drives. All you got to click on is new. And then you can, for example, divide this number into two and you can have two partitions for this hard drive, a C or D drive, for example. But for this demonstration, we are going to just click on next and the system will create its own drives for it to run and you'll only have a C drive. Now, you can divide them into two partitions later on after the Windows is installed on the computer. But for now, we are just going to continue with the installation normally. So just click on next and you'll see what will happen in a second. And there you have it. Now the Windows process has started the installation. Now, if you like this video so far, please consider subscribing to our channel. Now, in some cases, you might get an error like this. This is a normal error for the computer to be trying to boot from the flash drive first through legacy, and it will give this error. I just wanted to put it out there that this is normal. The moment your computer restarts from that installation, and just remove the flash memory and let it continue to load. So let me restart the computer and show you. Here we are, a new fresh installation of Windows 10. On the first page, you choose the language. Over here, you choose the keyboard layout. I'm just gonna choose US. I'm not gonna add any layout. Over here, you can add any other layout, like for example, Arabic or maybe Hindi or any other second language that you have. And you can use off of your keyboard and your keyboard will start typing in that language when you press on Alt and Shift together. So we're gonna skip this. Over here, it will ask you about your network. You can either sign into your network or if you have an ethernet plug, then you can plug in the ethernet. And I'm going to do this. I recommend this way. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can just use a normal local account by clicking, I don't have internet. 
Now over here, if you wanted to set up a Microsoft account, I recommend continue with limited setup. So over here, you can type in your username or whatever name you have, click on next, and you can continue with the setup. So there you have it guys. This was the process of installing Windows 10 from a flash drive. If you like this video and it helped you out, please consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, and see you again next time.